Okay, I've been getting a lot of comments to, um, about my other scene slash emo hair video is bad because it doesn't show you how to add hair like I have here. Well, that was because that video wasn't supposed to show you how to add hair like this. This one will. Okay, so this is what we're starting off with, and this is what we're going to go for. I'm just going to put the hair over the eye. Let me delete that. Um, first, you're w probably going to want to make a duplicate layer of the picture layer, just in case you make any mistakes and you make too many to, you know, um, go into the, the history with. So I'm just going to make a duplicate. Now you can either uh, use the clone stamp tool, which is over here, or it should be S hotkey on your keyboard. And you just pick a rather large, I'd say soft, edged brush. Now you hold the Alt key and click somewhere in the hair that you'd like to be the source. And then you just draw on like you would with the brush tool if you're just doing one color. So you just go on and on and on like that. You can also correct minor imperfections the same way. Like, um, say you wanted to get rid of some of this guy's facial hair, you could clone stamp it away. So we got that way shown already. This is the way that I think gives the, probably the best results. Get out the polygonal lasso or the pen tool. I'm choosing the polygonal lasso for this. Because I prefer it. And now you're going to want to select a hair that has, you know, similar angle in highlighting to where you're going to put it. Like if we're going to add hair over on his neck here, you don't want to sample some of the hair beside his neck. But I'm going to put it over his eye. So actually I need, do need to zoom in. I'm going to select some of the hair sweeping over his forehead. You don't need to be real exact, because we're going to be editing this hair shortly. I'm just going to make a basic shape of the hair. I'm going to try to exclude that bit right there where it's kind of parting. And just go edit, copy, edit, paste. And now, see, all the hair is... Right there in a new layer. We're just going to drag it down to cover his eye like that. And you see we do, let me zoom up, we do have some seams such as there. Um, over here it blends in pretty well, but to crack that you just get the eraser tool with a soft edge brush. And you just kind of erase around the edges. You might need to lower the opacity so you don't over erase. There. And see now it gives the illusion on mo most of it that he has a part right there and it's coming down over his eye but the edge is really really bad looking right now. So we're going to want to duplicate this area, which is just drag down to the new layer thing. Or button, I should say. In the same layer. Now, make one invisible by just clicking that little eyeball. And click the one under it. Now we're going to smudge this. Now I have this little brush that looks like sprinkles. It's in assorted brushes. And I'm just going to have this at about 75% strength. And you could, you're going to need to vary the strength and the size of the brush depending on, you know, the size of the picture, the little hair coming down, etc, etc. You can also download hair smudging brushes, but I just like this one. We're just going to pull the hair down. Lots of short strokes. And you're just going to pull the hair down in a similar fashion to how it would fall. Like he has a few little flyaway hairs going odd directions because of the part. And the rest of the hair would be going down, swept aside over his eye.
And obviously the texture of the hair is getting a bit messed up. That's why we have the one on top to fix that. Now you just smudge, smudge, smudge. You know, you can, you'll need to take some time with this to get it right. And then you can make the brush smaller for your littler hairs. You know, amp up the, that was too much. Amp up the strength a bit for different lengths. You know, obviously some parts of his hair are just going to kind of go a little wild because that's how our hair naturally is. It's not going to be picture perfect. And then you can even um, get a regular round brush, small, and just drag a couple little hairs over because right here we see naturally he has a couple hairs just kind of coming off into his face for just no reason just because that's how his hair is a little wild and you can just pull that and then make this top layer visible again and you can see it has a much better edge than this where it's kind of blurred it keeps keeps the check the texture adds the little flyaways you'd naturally see. You can add more, you can add less, you can see the difference. More or less, if you're having trouble with the highlighting of the hair, like right here, he has a little bit of band of highlighting because of the lighting in the picture. You can use the dodge tool. Um, I'd really use a low strength, maybe um, exposure about 15, 10 to 15%. Just kind of move your way up and you can, oops, why did I make a new layer? Kind of brighten that up a bit. You can use the burn tool to kind of darken areas just a little bit. You know, be very gradual. Also, if that's not enough for you and you need um, some more highlighting and a little more control, I just get white on a new layer for the highlighting and see right here is where he's going to have some highlighting due to picture and just, you know, soft light or other things, just lower the opacity a bit. That's 20%, and I use the same smudging brush that we usually we did before, the sprinkles one, that's what I call it, and just smudge it back and forth. I'll kind of move that in the direction of the hair. You can do this with shadows on soft light or overlay as well, and make the rest of it invisible. And you can see before and after. And you can see the difference in the highlighting as well to make it blend better. Okay?